I think Wilton makes baking and decorating really accessible and really easy. So I think when a mother or a father can look at a craft or a, some kind of treat and they know they can do it, they can pass it on to their children, who can pass it on to their children, and it just, I feel like it really brings people together. We believe that if you follow the Wilton method, you can be successful. We believe if you follow Wilton inspiration, you can be successful. And if you utilize Wilton's innovative tools, you'll be most successful. Okay, the first word that comes to mind when I think of Wilton is easy. I think that we make products that make baking and decorating very easy, very fun, very accessible. And we strive to have people be able to create their own amazing cakes. Cake decorating is truly an art form. It's a fun, creative hobby. And yet, you really don't have to be an artist to be a good cake decorator. My dad, Dewey McKinley Wilton, started working in a candy factory at the age of 14 or 15 years old. He had an aptitude for candy making and quickly rose to level of foreman by the age of 19. After working in the candy factory, he worked as a pulled sugar artist and did specialty cakes and decorations for a number of various fancy caterers all around the Chicago area. All the time he was doing this, he was also doing specialty items at home, working every night. I never recall him taking a night off. In 1929, my dad discovered he had an aptitude for teaching and established the Wilton School of Cake Decorating. He taught new confectionery and decorating techniques to bakers, caterers, and chefs across the Midwest. Over the next several years, he acquired a wealth of cake decorating knowledge and developed the Wilton Method of Cake Decorating. What's sort of amazing about the Wilton Method and, and how we teach sweet treat making and primarily cake decorating is we've always viewed it cake decorating is not being magic, that anyone can do it. That is really, really true, especially when we take a look at it globally. How we teach the method is something that anyone can learn. What makes the Wilton technique or Wilton method um, so unique compared to everything else is that we actually have a direction we're teaching them. We teach them by clock position. We teach them by angle and pressure control. Push upward slightly towards 12 o'clock and absolutely quit squeezing. That's your rosebud. In 1939, he took the school around the nation to teach the Wilton method. He would be gone one and a half to three months at a time. He would teach in various towns, sometimes three students in the morning, possibly two in the afternoon, and a group in the evening. The business is rooted internationally, um, and I guess the testimony to that is that we are known, so well known, overseas, because everyone wants to know the American method, and American method and easy is synonymous with the Wilton Method. In 1946, when I returned from the service, I suggested we open the Wilton School in our home. At this time, nobody was teaching cake decorating. We put our first ad in the Baker's Helper magazine. It generated seven students. Classes were growing. 15 to 18 students taught in our home in the dining room. I can recall the students walking down the street, carrying their suitcases, looking all over. They were looking for the Wilton School of Decorating. I'd run out and ask, are you looking for the Wilton School? They'd say yes, and I would say, it's here in the house. They looked very perturbed. Of course, once they took the course, they were delighted with it and how hard we worked with them. My experiences here at Wilton have been very fulfilling because I have been a teacher and teaching is very exciting for me to see what I can teach students. What I find is important is making people believe in themselves. If you can teach them simply what um, they can do and pulling that talent out, a lot of times people don't even know they have those talents, but giving them the self-confidence and the right tools to make them believe in themselves, they will be able to do it. The Wilton classes were fun. Uh, they were really, really informative. I had a great time. I learned a lot. In 1948, the school was growing rapidly and moved to a facility in Chicago. 
We honored the GI Bill of Rights and taught many World War II veterans cake decorating and candy making. We showed them how to make peanut brittle, fudges, English toffee, and all the various candies they could use to open up a shop of their own. When we make things that are difficult and only kept in the hands of the few, available to the many, then you really have an innovative company. And what is great about Wilton, in our 85 years of, of being a great American company, is we've taken something that in the European tradition was only done in the back room. Cake decorating was something that only artists knew how to do. And by developing the method and delivering it to students everywhere, we've allowed many students, many cake decorating enthusiasts, to have the opportunity to have success. We've not kept it to just those that are artists. We've opened up and sort of democratized the activity of, of cake decorating. School staff increased too, and eventually included the entire Wilton family. My dad and myself, plus my siblings Martha, Mary Jane, and Wesley. Well, when, I, when Wesley and I worked together, he would tell me simple little stories on how his dad would um, have him get up on a crate and actually decorate. So his dad would hand him a piece of sugar and say, this is what I want you to do with it. I want you to make a piece of ribbon or a flower out of it. Um, so I see those same things happening. They started in their home and many of my students start their businesses right out of their kitchens and work it from there. The tools and the methods go way back. We still instill in the students the same things that actually I was taught by Wesley, um, carried on probably through Norman, which is the um, exact precision of what they do learn, high expectations, quality, work, but it also should be very easy for them to learn how to do. I'll tell you one thing about decorating. Once a person learns to decorate, they never stop. It's not like some hobbies. You just use it all the time because you're continually celebrating occasions. I'm sure Dewey would be proud of everyone who helped to make Wilton a success. However, the ones who truly made all this possible are the millions of people all over the world who are creating amazing cakes and sweet treats. I feel that we've just touched a small portion of the population and the world is yet to be introduced to cake decorating.